Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Today we're going to be doing an updated Shulp Mustache video. If you recall from the last one, I had a lot of new products in there. So there's going to be tons of like mini reviews, which there usually is. I give my thoughts on the products, on what I'm keeping and what I'm putting out. Um, this basket is smaller than last time. So uh, this video will be a little bit shorter, but I have my reasons for what I'm picking and what I'm doing. If you're new here, my name is Megan. If um, at any time while watching this, you're enjoying the video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. It really does help my channel. And yeah, without further ado, let's shop my stash. <laughs> So here is what I have in my current basket and similar to last time, I'm going to pop out the things that are going to be staying because they're staples like my KVD concealer um, and then my Divine Daylight and Mirrored Moonlight Spectral Shines. I will show you guys. They are looking good. I literally use um, at least one of these every day. Sometimes I even pair them so those will be going um this will also be going to the side here um and i think i think that is it um so yeah a lot of this is what we rolled in last time like i said it was like a super super full basket so we had a lot to try out and work around with um so i'll just start here from the top the first thing was the natasha denona mini retro palette and I was truly wowed by this. I put up a full review over on my IG but I'm still shook at how unique this palette is to my collection. These tones are so stinking beautiful and these shimmers like the sparkles in them are insane. I highly recommend this one and I'm glad I finally tried it out. The other palette that I had in my rotation was the Patrick Ta Major Dimensions. This is the OG palette. I got to know the creams a little bit better and I really love them. I had a good experience. I applied both of them um, sometimes together, sometimes apart, and they wore really well on my eyes and I didn't experience any creasing or anything like that. So this is one that I really just love and wanted to use more. So that's why I rotated it in. The other items in my basket, um, we'll just go ahead, we'll start with this because this is a Nabla highlighter and this is one of the, one of two highlighters left in my collection. And I rotated this in because I wanted to use it on like the brow bone and get some use out of it that way. I am still enjoying that. So this is going to become one of those products that are just going to stay in the basket unless I decide I want to take it out. But this is another stay. I was also trying out my um, Fido Surgeon's eyeshadow in the shade Wild Oak. This actually became quite the favorite over um, the past week or so. I really love just applying this all over the lid and then tapping like a sparklier shade over the top. It's so dimensional and unique and it's a really great quick one and done. I don't experience like any creasing or anything with these. So yeah, highly recommend and I loved the way that this shade looked. But I am going to rotate it out so that I can rotate some other things in. I also had the shade Dune and my Becca Lippy in this time. I think I used this two or three times, which, you know, the goal was just to be more mindful about using it. I really love this shade. It's usually a staple for me in the summer. Uh, I am going to go ahead and rotate it out, though. I also recently received the Dior uh, Backstage Flash Perfector Concealer from Insta, from Instagram, lol, from Influencer. I got the shade 2N and I've been trying this out and I really love it. Um, it's going to be one of those products that will be staying in my basket now. So I like to have two concealers, so it really worked out. But yes, been loving this. I also had the Huda Beauty Stick rotated in. This is the shade Perky Peach. This is her new um, cheek tint formula. Unfortunately, this didn't work out for me and I'm still pretty sad about it. There is a whole review up on my IG. Essentially, this everything about it is beautiful. It just did not have any lasting power on me. 
Uh, the most I could get out of it was about five hours and I'm someone that usually has my makeup on for 12 plus hours. So for it to fade that quickly really just isn't feasible for my everyday use. Um, which makes me really sad, but it is what it is. And yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and rotate this one out. The MAC blush in the shade So Natural. I freaking, I still love this. Like, I still want to reach for it all the freaking time. Can't speak highly enough about this one. I am going to keep it in the basket. The other item I had rotated in was the LYS blush. I have the shade Kindness, and my goal was to just use this some. Um, I did use it twice, so I gave it a little bit of love. It's not really one that I reach for, and I just think that it's a little bit brighter shade, and I am more into, like, neutral blushes, so I think that's why I don't reach for it as much. Um, but it is really nice formula-wise, lasting-wise, and blendability-wise. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and rotate this out. I was also trying out the Huda Beauty um, Cream Bronzer. It's her Tantor, and this is the shade Fair. I will have a review going up on my IG soon, and <laughs> this shade is so warm for Fair. Um, I might be able to get away with putting it on the top of my makeup in the summer, but I definitely can't right now. Um, it works nice for me for underpainting. So I think I'll hang on to it because I do like to underpaint. So this would be a good one for that. Formula wise, this is extremely pigmented, creamy, and it blends out great. Um, honestly, I really like it. The shade is just a little, you know, too warm for me. But I think formula wise, this is really nice. I am going to go ahead and rotate it out though. The other bronzer I was trying to get my, like, how I felt about it was the Fenty Beauty Cream Bronzer. I have the shade Butter Biscuit, and I really like this. It's quickly become a favorite. Um, it works really nicely on top of my makeup and under my makeup. I think that this is a really great shade for me. Uh, it's like not too warm, not too cool. It's that perfect in the middle and it blends out beautifully and it has a long lasting power. So yeah, really been enjoying this on, but I am going to rotate it out because I have some others I want to rotate in. I also had a powder bronzer in the mix, the Alamar bronzing trio. And I think we might be starting to see some grids back there. I was planning to rotate this out. But I feel like those, because I have seen other people pan the blushes and the pans are like waffled. So I feel like maybe I will keep this in again just because I think we might be close to some pan, y'all. So yeah, I will keep this one in. Okay, so I do want to go ahead and rotate in a couple eyeshadow palettes. I recently unwrapped this one on IG from my series of wrapped palettes. It is the Glam Light uh, Dirty Martini palette, and I haven't used it yet. I have swatched it, so I want to rotate this in because I want to be able to create a couple of looks with it and give my thoughts. Um, hi, I'm masking. <laughs> Self-care day. Um, but yeah, so this is one I'm going to rotate in um, so that I can get my thoughts on it. I also recently I used one of my purchases from Pan Over Purchase to pick up the Gemini palette from Melt Cosmetics. I literally had been eyeing this forever and I just never picked it up. So when they relaunched it, I ran. And I am really excited because, gosh, it just looks so beautiful. And these tones are so up my alley. So this is something else that I'm going to be using a lot over the next couple of weeks to get my thoughts on as well. Because I've heard, like, some mixed reviews about the formulation. And if it's something that I don't like, then I do want to return it. Um, but I'm really hoping that I will love it. Okay, so I do want to rotate some stuff in from this um, section here. I want to rotate in my Tom Ford bronzer. This one is in the shade 1. A friend in the community had gifted this to me because I really love this formula. Since she gave it to me, though, I've only used it a couple times. So I want to rotate in it in to start getting some good use out of it. Oh, what else should I rotate in? Um, I want to... I'm going to rotate in this Merit Stick. 
This one is in the shade Amber, and I purposely picked it up in this shade. It was gift, well gifted by the brand um, to see if it would work for me as a bronzer. So I'm going to pull this out for this rotation and get my thoughts on that. Now for blush, I did have my eye on some things as well that I wanted to test out and get my full thoughts on. I do want to pull out this Kosas Duo. I've only used it like one or two times. And I really want to get my thoughts on it because I've really just been, you know, honing in on my collection and what I love and what I don't love. So I want to give this a full like wear test to decide my thoughts on it. So I'm going to rotate it in. And then let's get crazy and <laughs> rotate in um, a powdered blush. The one I was thinking, oh, right here, um, is from Cover FX and it's in the shade Warm Honey. And I think this will go um, with a lot of my like typical preferences of like a warm uh, to neutral blush. So I thought we'd rotate it in. I don't know how much I, I'll use it, but my goal will be to at least use it um, two times. So yeah, I'm going to rotate this in. Hmm, I should also probably rotate in a single just because, well, last time I got a lot of use out of this one and of this one. So that was good for me. <sighs> Actually, since I have two palettes in, I'm not gonna rotate in a single this time. Fuck it, this is my channel, I do what I want. So I'm not gonna rotate in a single this time. <laughs> Wow, she's kind of a small basket compared to last time. Like, look at all the space we have over here. Is there something I'm forgetting? Or maybe it just looks nicer because they all fit in here nicer. I don't really know. Obviously, and then we still have, we have my two palettes here. Um, and then also, as you guys know, I keep my smolder blush over there. But I am still working on this pretty um, frequently. So... I do still have that like forever in my rotation. Um, but yeah, this is going to be the basket for this time. I'm really excited to get my thoughts on this Kosas Duo and this stick here. Um, those are kind of like the main focus. And then I really just want to get, you know, use out of these two items. And then hopefully we'll be hitting a pan in this Olimar bronzer. And then, of course, I'll be doing and trying out um, both these palettes, which is really exciting as well. So, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this Shop My Stash video. This is kind of what we're focusing on right now. Um, I didn't rotate in a lip product, but I, I mean, I usually don't. I just did that one time. So, I don't know. It really just depends on, like, what I'm feeling that week. Uh, last week we had a big basket and I really enjoyed it. This one's a little bit smaller, so I might branch out a little bit. Who knows? Um, I usually am on my stories pretty frequently over on IG if you want to catch some of the looks that I'm doing with these. And yeah, I just wanted to thank you guys um, so, so much for watching and for being so supportive and so kind. Uh, I know I took a week off just to kind of collect myself and everyone was so great about that so yeah i appreciate you guys so much i hope you have a great day and i'll see you in the next one bye